today I thought we could just go through a few things that I've purchased recently. Sort of an unboxing and a bit of a um, cosmetics haul. For you guys, I'm sorry, I don't really have much except for maybe one item, but maybe two items. But let's see how it goes. I needed to get Raven a few little items for summer. She's really struggling a lot with the clothing she has at the moment because she's grown so quickly. I had some, I decided to just purchase a few things from Maya and there was a little shirt and a little short set on special so I thought I would purchase that. So let's first open that one because I'm quite keen to see what that is. This was delivered yesterday and came in a, a Maya bag like that. Okay, and inside is a little bag wrapped like this. I think that's quite nice actually. Open it. Sticker. Okay, so let's have a look. I'll take that back. I actually got her a dress and a shirt. Let's see. Okay, so first thing I got her was these cute little shorts. Oh, so adorable. Hours on them. So these are marked at $16.95. I paid $10 for these. They were on special. I think it's just a markdown to get rid of them. So that was quite a bargain. And then I got this little dress. Uh, I thought it was just so pretty, I just couldn't resist. So it's got all this little embroidery at the top here. And it's quite a long little dress. So it hasn't got very long sleeves. The purpose was to try get her some stuff that she could wear now in summer to help her. She suffers terribly with this heat. I don't know how, but two of my kids have got this where they cannot take too much heat, whereas all of us are fine. So we we would still get hot. They kind of like overheat and I mean like terribly sweating all day. Her hair gets sopping wet from the sweat. She really struggles in the heat. So um, yeah, this is going to be really cute. I think she's going to look adorable in it. I'll maybe take some photos with it on and add it into my video when I post it. It's just a denim material. It's a, a thinnish denim. I think that this could wash quite well and not have to be ironed. I hate ironing. Um, it ruins the clothing, first of all, and yeah, who needs to iron if you hang it properly, it's not got any ironing. So that was for Raven. And then while I was busy, I came across this. It's another Maya package. They had about four options of these, and I chose, I think it was not the most expensive one, but sort of in between. I paid $21 for this. And let's open it and then I can explain to you what it is. I'm going to have to use a scissor for this one. Okay, so, you know I've been doing a lot of face mask reviews since I've started my channel. And I am a face mask person. I didn't, haven't always been. It just started about a year ago. I started doing sort of a pamper once a week. Just to make myself feel a bit better. So when I wash my hair, I like to leave my conditioner in for quite a while before I rinse it out. And that's the perfect time for me to put my face mask on and leave it on while my hair is busy setting with a conditioner. So when I saw these, I thought this was really cool. Now one thing is I am getting on in age and I like to use the stuff that helps to firm up. So I got this one with the firming one. So let's open this up and see what came inside of it. I'm quite excited to see. I did have a look on it, but they were all on top of each other, so I didn't really pay too much attention. I thought we could do that together. This was $21. I think they started from $15 up, up to $25, if I remember, or $23. Okay, so inside this, yeah, I've got one, two, Four, five, six masks for $21. I mean, I don't think that is bad at all. So let's start going through what they are. So the first one is Dr. Logi. 
This is a Vata lifting mask sheet. Looks very similar to the one I did with the foot, where it's got this whole little like thingy down the side here. And it says here that, <laughs> okay, so it says that this mask is for wrinkled and livid due to stress. Okay, I'm not that bad. A few moments later. Then we can try this. It's got multiple vitamins and co collagen ingredients to, to vitalize and vitalize skin. Look out for that review. By the time I'm done, you'll be sick of reviews on face masks. Then this one, Master Lab. Now, I'm sure this you guys will. This one is EGF and it's Wrinkle Care. Then the next one is also by the same Master Lab. See, I've got a few by them. And this one is Collagen Elasticity Care. I do take collagen tablets, but I think this is nice to put on your face just for an extra boost. Um, I, I'm looking forward to that one as well. I'm looking forward to trying all of them, guys. But also a Tony Molly one. So we'll see how that goes. It looks like it's also one of those masks that you would pull out. Not like my previous one where you actually apply it by hand. This is one of, these are all those sheets that you would put on your face. I can, if I feel them all, they all feel like sheets. This one, however, feels like a cream. Okay, and then another master lab, intensive nutrition, heavy on nutrition, heavy on a whole. So there's another one by master lab. They all look very similar. I don't know if you've noticed, they just change their color up a little, depending on the, the top. I quite like the way they've done it with the different colors with the different types. I'm sure all of them do, but the fact that it's all sort of, you can see it's from the same company, it's not like a mishmash, I quite like that. Okay, then the next one we've got is Panda's Dream Eye Patch. So I can feel the patches inside there. That's quite cute, little panda. Also Tony Molly. It looks like all of these are Tony Molly. They've just got different types of brand. We'll try that one on the eyes. We haven't done one of those yet. And then Elasticity um, Pomegranate Mask Sheet. Also Tony Molly. Let's actually look up Tony Molly. I'd be quite curious to see whereabouts they are because I see a lot of this stuff has got this writing on it. Okay, so I've just looked at the back and it's definitely Korea, made in Korea. So all of these Tony Mollies are made in Korea. The face masks I tried the, um, have tried previously are also Korea. It's quite nice though, these seem to have a little bit more um, explanations at the back. So hopefully that will be easier to show you guys. But anyway, so that's that. So guys, those are all the masks that I received. I don't think that's too bad for $21. I mean, if you look in any store, and I know Woolies is one I go to often, $5 is about what you would pay for one. So that's 5 10 15 20 and I've still got two left. So I don't think it's bad at all. And I mean, $5 is a starting point. They can go up depending on what you are actually looking for. And I know the ones with collagen and anti-wrinkle are a lot more pricey. But yes, they came in a nice little box, which I can put back and keep in my cupboard. And when I'm ready, I can take them out and do them. And what's nice is this is like, because I've got so many, I've got one a week. So I've got, I've got five weeks worth of face masks. Awesome. Then another thing I wanted to show you that I had ordered, I ordered this on Groupon. It's the teeth whitening kit. These were on special for $15 each. So I thought we'd open it together and have a look. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I thought we could give it a go. So I purchased this. I'm a little bit worried about these type of things that you buy online when it comes to things like your teeth and your eyes. and so. First of all, it smells very, very, very dentistry when you open it. Like, it hits you in the face. Let me take it all out. Okay, so, we've got a little home kit pamphlet that tells you what to do. Hopefully it's all, all the info is in here that you can follow. It just shows you a bit of what you would need to do. Show your dazzling smile to the world. It's got a professional... 3D teeth shade guard. It's got these plastic 
pieces that you would obviously put in your mouth. This plastic mouth guard, they are two pieces and you've got the piece at the bottom that you can that would go into your mouth and I'm assuming you would put the gel in. Then you've got this little, this is obviously the, the light, the ultraviolet light that you would put on in your mouth. I'm going to keep that in there. So it came with 10 of these. I've just counted quickly. And it's got this little tip that comes separately that I assume you would put onto the end of it here. And this would be syringed into the mouth guard and then into your mouth. So I'm not sure if each application would depend on this color chart. I would have to go and have a look at that. But I'm sure that the more of, more of these you use, the whiter it's supposed to get. So if you guys are smokers or tea drinkers, even coffee drinkers, and your teeth are stained from, from all of that, because they tend to go slightly yellow, this is very good, a very good option for you guys if you don't want to go to the dentist. I saw on TikTok the other day, a lady did a, a little recipe with some lemon juice, baking soda, toothpaste and she mixed it all together and she brushed her teeth with that and that was instant white I don't know if that actually works or not but that's another option for you guys and one thing to remember is I have been told by a dentist before that slightly off white teeth are actually healthier than very white teeth don't know how true that is but that's what I was told so I'll try this out and let you guys know how it goes I'm not sure if I'll do a video on it might be a bit gory. I'm not sure how this is going to work. So let's see what happens. This week when I was shopping, I bought a few things for myself and I wanted to share with you. I find a lot of times we will do reviews on products that are new all the time. Why can't we focus on some of the old products that are out there that are in the market? So I like to buy my body washes for my shower. I love body wash. And this is the one I purchased when we first moved to Australia. So this is the Balnea Body Company. I've got, actually got quite a few of their products. Um, this is an Australian made company. This is an awesome, awesome smell. And it's got little shells in it for exfoliating. So it's coconut with exfoliating walnut shells. And it's a one liter bottle, so it lasts a long time. This is empty and I needed to purchase a new one. This one was $4 at Woolworths and also one liter, but this one is oxygen burst. So it says here, it's with invigorating dead sea salt, hydrating body wash. Also, like I said, it's Australian made, so it's quite nice to support Australia. I'm looking forward to trying this, and I think for my husband, this is a better option. I don't know if you guys know, but you need to screw these bottles. You'll see, I think it'll pop up. There we go. <laughs> okay, just to release it. Somebody showed me once, just a tip, that if you put some elastic bands under here, it actually stops you from pushing it down too far and you utilize a lot less. I haven't tried that yet. I do still want to, but that's that. I haven't done my nails yet. But I wanted to show you guys. So Revlon has this range, which I've used here. I did, I've never seen this in um, South Africa before. We've got slightly different, but I think it's just a packaging difference. We have Revlon in South Africa. They may have updated their packaging and I just haven't seen it, but this is by Revlon. It is 100 mils and I paid $5 for this. So you can see it's empty. This is my first bottle since I've been here, empty. And I purchased another one. Now, the one I had previously was for Moisture Guard. Thought I would give that one a try. I see it does say here, new look. It's got the strengthening action and it's got pro vitamin B5 in here. So it's good for your nail. They had some nail polish. I have said to you before I left all my nail polish in South Africa with my daughter. I didn't bring it with me. I felt it might be too much on the airplane. Plus minus 30 or so bottles of nail polish. I didn't mind leaving it behind because a lot of the colors I actually wasn't using. And I sort of have an indication of what colors I now like. So when I was in Woolies, I found these two nail polishes on special as well. They were marked at $17 but they had brought them down. So this is the copper one. Now this one, I paid $10.20 for on special. So you can see what it looks like. I'm just gonna take it out the packaging for you guys. Like I said, this is called Terra Copper. Okay. Quite a fancy looking bottle. Open and see what, it, what the brush looks like. Oh. So, as you guys can see, it's got quite, 
quite a thick brush and got quite a coppery color in it. Maybe we put it on the nail and test it. So I haven't got anything on. I'm going to quickly apply it to one of my nails. So that is the copper color. Brush is quite big, but I, I actually like it like that. Um, the, the formula goes on very nicely. It's not streaky. It's quite smooth. You can see it's gone on nicely. I'm not quite sure what the texture is going to be because it's wet. I'd have to let it dry. So they say that this is longer lasting, chip resistant. Yeah, it says apply two, two coats, leaving two to three minutes in between each coat to dry. And then you would put a top coat over it. And you don't need a UV lamp for this, even though it is a miracle gel. This is the Salon Manicure. Also, um, this one I paid $9 for. Also marked at 17. This one's got seven Salon benefits in it. It says here base coat. So assuming, so base coat is your number one. Strengthener, a growth treatment. Color, it's a top coat as well. Chip resistant. And it's got a gel shine finish. Directions, apply two coats and leave two to three minutes between each coat. So that's that one. The color they have is called Raising the Bar, which is quite cute actually. And let's open it. Now, when I took it out now, which I didn't notice when I purchased it, it had almost like a pinky, sort of pearly purple color. You can see the consistency of the nail polish is quite, it's a bit runny, but it's not that runny. It went on my nail quite nicely. I've messed again, I tell you. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Get it closer for you. Okay, it is only one coat. The tip, the white is showing through a little, but I think once I've done another coat, it will look a little better. So what I'll do is maybe do my nails with these two as an option and put a picture in the end for you guys to see what it looks like. Well guys, I think that is it. Um, yeah, I, I do feel that we focus a lot on the new products when we're doing reviews and there are so many products out there that people want to know how they are that we don't focus on. So I've tried now to, in most of my shopping, try to get something different for me that I have never used. Maybe you guys have because you've been in Australia for a long time and maybe found something new that you'd like to try. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of the family. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.